Welcome to Guitar Gallery, it's Stefan and Stefan here. Today we're doing another review. Um, we like to say it's special, but I think it is. Today um, is a special day indeed. Today is a special <laughs> day. Uh, our friends, I think we can call them friends, uh, Matthias and Matthew in, in Cape Town. They are the luthiers um, of this amazing brand called Kasimi. Um, and they make these guitars and I think most of them actually sell in, in, in London through um, uh, the North American Guitar mm. Store, but uh, I think they're pretty much all over, all over the globe. Uh, we visited them last year. Uh, just man, uh, when I think about it, it was such a nice trip. These guys just, you know, we've just I felt at home when I, uh, when, I when we were there, and and they just shared their knowledge. And while we were there, they were also busy teaching other guys how to build their own guitars. And you really get a sense that these guys care more for the craft than they exactly. do for keeping secrets. Yeah, they're passionate like, about guitars. Absolutely. And uh, we've also met a lot of the guys who actually did these courses and, and, and still talk to them on a, on a daily basis. You know? So so it's just an absolute uh, privilege to have a Kasimi guitar on the couch. A guitar gallery is the authorized reseller in South Africa of the uh, Kasimi guitars. And, and so it's amazing to have this uh, on, on the couch tonight. It's a, it's a C2 um, Kasimi, so that's a grand auditorium body size. Uh, if you look at the wood specs, um, it's a German spruce top, and then Stefan, African blackwood back and sides. It's a new for us. We've never we've had Brazilian rosewood, we've had uh, Coca Bola, we've had Madagascar rosewood, mm. we've had ebony, but we've never had African blackwood. It's amazing what the first thing when you pick this guitar up, it's a heavy wood, yes. and you can feel that the body construction sure. is heavy. Uh, but tonally, what's interesting about African blackwood is, um, you know, while we know that. A tone wood itself doesn't make or break the voice of a guitar, but when you compare this um, African blackwood to Brazilian rosewood, some some are of the opinion that it's one of the closest mm. tonally, one of the closest. Mm. I know George Lauren is also a big fan of uh, African blackwood. Yeah, for back and side. It's really a, it's really a, a you know, a, I don't want to say an alternative to guitar wood. It's an exotic guitar wood that's making mm. a big entrance in the mm. steel string acoustic market. And I think they also said the quality at the moment of African blackwood is pretty much unsurpassed. Yeah. yeah. Stefan, you've played on it, playability, what did you experience? You know, these guitars, um, when we when we played a few of their models uh, while we visited them last year, the first thing you realize about Cosimi guitars is, and this is mo maybe the most important thing, is that they have a unique voice. Mm. They, It's hard to describe the sound, but the guitars feel sturdy. I want to say the guitar feel, it feels sturdy, but the sound doesn't feel tight. The sound mm. is loose and open, mm. and, and these guitars are... Um, you know, it's all the typical characteristics that you'll find in a boutique handmade acoustic mm. guitar like this. Um, the, something like the balance. Where mm. you talk string to string, note to note, up and down mm. the fretboard. It's got perfect balance. Mm. Where do you play even on this extended fretboard? Even mm. those 
even the last octave of the E, it rings that small string. Mm. And um, you know, you've got the you've got ample amounts of bass response, which mm. sits beautifully in relation to uh, the mid range and the mm. trebles. You've got clear fat trebles mm. and a warm mid range. It's mm. absolutely perfect in that sense. But mm. the biggest advantage, the biggest strength that this guitar has for me, um, in its sound, is its responsiveness. Mm. It it exclamates and it emphasizes everything you do as an artist. When you play loud, it plays loud with you. And when mm. you play subtle, when you play soft, it goes soft with you. You know, while all the notes mm. ring out clear and true, it's just everything so is responsive. Mm. It's amazing to to, to mm. um, you know to experience this guitar. This is one of the most responsive guitars I've mm. ever played, and and it's a, for, for an artist. It's a joy to play because mm. it's a means to express yourself, mm. you know, and, and when you think when you're composing music and your goal is to carry over emotion, mm. you want a voice that can do that. And these guitars are mm. exceptionally mm. well. They do that well. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. It's very yeah. difficult. I think the, the, the two things for me is, you know, I remember when we visited them, they, they also um, believe in quite a rigid neck um, and, and, and that results in, in, in lots of sustain and you can yeah, even as we busy speaking how this guitar is, is singing in no, the background um, and I think the other thing for me sometimes uh, well I don't know my perception but a modern guitar sometimes um, scooped and, and lack um, the mids but there's mm. a lot of mids it's, no, it's a big sound no this guitar is perfectly EQ'd it's absolutely mm. perfect mm. and you know the notes they, they pop but then they sustain as well. They've got the perfect balance between the punchiness and the sustain mm. because the note does pop out. It punches out or, mm. you know, it comes out. It's a, you can play a, a, a note, for example, within a chord structure mm. and you can make that note pop out by just playing a little louder mm. because this guitar is so responsive. Mm. Mm. You know, so the possibilities are endless with these guitars. Yeah. You can, it's, it's, a multiple, it's a multiple use tool. You can use this thing for anything. It's amazing. Yeah. It sounds wonderful. So we can go on forever about this guitar, but uh, it's time to uh, <laughs> to say goodbye. <laughs> time to play on this guitar. Um, but yeah, we just want to say we we're just super proud of uh, Matthias and, and Matthew in Cape Town for this this amazing brand that they've built, and, and it's more specific this amazing guitar. Um, I mean, it's uh, there's a, a very long waiting list for these guitars, so you are quite fortunate if, if you if you can get your hands on one of these and if you want to experience it in the meantime or even want to buy it we've got one here in stock so we uh, would love to have you over so you can experience this amazing guitar there's nothing else like this and uh, we hope to see you soon and thank you for watching bye bye